Talked about Christian Fisher with a pair of goals in that one back in October. Right in behind the net. Goss the spare lost it. Centering feed cleared away by Barrett Hayden. And now DeMello's shot is blocked in right. I'd love to see Chickren and Goss the spare really get up in the attack here tonight. Full attack mode from their defense. Turn the other way, bringing it in as Ehlers with a shot and a stop as that one went wide. The Winnipeg Jets will set it up back out high. Nate Schmidt with a shot blocked and a backhand Barron. And that's handled by Karel Vamelka. Goss is there and now Chikrin. In front, a patch save there. Barrett Hayden, great A look on Hellebuck. Oh, uh, what a play down the small right up to Barrett Hayden. Opening period here tonight. Coyotes will head home after this one. Shifley. And Karelva Melka never saw that through a screen. Oh, great stick there by Dylan Gunther. Just as Shifley was going to shoot that puck. Morrissey goes across a shot, and Shifley the save. Either, none of the above. And here's a look at it all over Shifley right there. And his penalty. Have to find a way to kill this one off. Winnipeg Jets, they built a lot of momentum off of their big four minute kill. Yeah, so it's uh, all about special teams as it is on many nights. And the Winnipeg Jets with their power play to open up their second period will send one in. Uh, yeah, right through the crease, but Shifley couldn't pull the trigger. Morrissey, and a shot redirected wide there. Winnipeg and their power play inside the Coyotes end to begin this period. Morrissey with a shot, he scores! And right in front was Pierre-Luc Dubois. I don't know if that was deflected or not. It may be Dubois's goal. Absolutely. And it's a power play goal. one nothing Winnipeg. Corral Vamelka from long range, and he almost got that one. And look at the movement here by the Jets on the power play, just zipping it around the one-timer, right off the shaft of the stick of Dubois and into the back of the net. Talk about hand-eye coordination. Lifts his stick up. Completely changes direction and Corral Vamelka, he knew it immediately. Coleman was uh, picked up on waivers from the Seattle Kraken. By the way, nobody hotter than the Kraken these days. They swept their seven game trip. Here's Keller right to the net. Keller and he scores. And Clayton Keller, what a goal to make it a 1 1 game. Well, there you go. The fifth shot of the game and it's tied to show up big here tonight and look at the Jets nobody home is right picking flowers and nobody picks up the puck carrier and allows them to dance all the way in and Hellebuck a fish out of water just can't get over in time and Clayton Keller puts that bar down that's how you do it number 15 for Clayton Keller in the corner for Dylan Coyotes will intercept, play down low with a shot. Richie backhander, and it's stopped by Hellebuck. But here's a look at it. Big physical play down low by Richie. That forces the turnover by the Jets, and that's what we were talking about. Now an opportunity here for Chikrin. Goss to spare, right towards the front. And they try to hammer away at it. Heaton's right there. You look at the play, just an innocent shot from the point. You get it through towards the net you got bodies in front you got Barrett Hayden you got Schmaltz you don't have to look for the perfect play all the time yeah, he can't handle it the Jets come the other way Shifley and Wheeler the trailer and they can't move it along comes across and they score Blake Wheeler and they were trying to get it to Perfetti instead Wheeler gets it and it's a two run Winnipeg lead the Jets didn't shoot the puck sooner, but it seemed to work in their favor. And look at that play right there. I thought for sure Shifley was going to shoot it. He finds his buddy back door, Wheeler. And he buries it. That's a long way for Corral Vamelka to get over. I think everyone in the building, including Vamelka, thought that Shifley was going to shoot that puck. Played him behind the net. Nemeth. Sent it down low. Fisher, the wraparound, and a stop by Hellebuck. Oh, what a play there by Christian Fisher. Actually, two of them on the wraparounds. Now, let's see if the Coyotes can battle back here. Down 2 1. 
Clayton Keller, the lone goal. Yeah, he's been good. Sandberg behind the net. 57 points for Winnipeg and Dallas to the front and a stop. Fisher is robbed by Hellebuck. Oh, what a save. Are you kidding me? It has been given, and here was that play we talked about. The Coyotes all over it, and they force a turnover because of the pressure that they put on. It's Nick Ritchie intercepts that puck. And what a feed to Christian Fisher all alone in front, nobody home. And somehow Hellebuck gets over, squares up to this shot, and he's such a big body right up the path. As the Jets bring it right back in before it's taken away by Cassie and encountering of the Coyotes. McBain in the middle. McBain shoots, stop, rebound. Oh, and it's underneath Hellebuck. How did that stay out? Oh, my goodness. The post as well. McBain rumbling down that right side, cuts to the middle. What a play. The innocent shot. The flyby, Nick Ritchie misses it. And Brown is going to pick this up. That's why you shoot the puck. There's Richie, misses it. And that puck goes right off the post, I believe. Morrissey with it. Jets trying to increase their lead here on the man advantage. Dubois shoots, he hit the pipe. Square off the pipe. The looks here tonight, he's got one of the goals for the Jets and just walks in. Nobody challenges him and says, you want to give me the ice? I'll take it. Another shot shortly after that one that he just rings off the far post. Karamba Malka not every shift they spent in the offensive zone. Not much going now. Ehlers has it. He skates in. He shoots over the top. Kyle Connor across to Bob. Robbed by Mamelka. It's in the crease and he covers up. 18 saves on the night for number 70. Karamba Mamelka and a big one there. Keep our eye on Karel Vamelka. Chance now, Schmaltz drops it, Keller. Keller to the front, Schmaltz is there, and it's stopped. That might have hit a body before it got. Chance by the Coyotes. Great play by Chickering, a little kick out to Keller. He finds Schmaltz right there all alone. No one picks up his stick. He gets a real good look at this. Keller on the backhand, and he finds his buddy. Right to the middle, Lawson Krause trying to beat Schmaltz. Off the boards, Connor. And now back to the line. Coyotes get it set up. Here's a look, Schmaltz down low, side of the net, Keller to the front, Bukestad Rob. Oh, they gotta go, they gotta go. Yeah, this one will be moved along. Das is going to try to get it to the line. This one flipped in, and that's it.